Hi guys, Carl here from Hendo Music Productions and this is Hendo Reviews and this is just a little quick video of an upgrade that I'm going to do. Um, if you've seen my Jim Root Squire, well my Squire Jim Root video, you've seen I upgraded the humbuckers in it to the EMGs. So basically the guitar is basically like Defender Jim Root. I've done all the wiring and everything and all I needed now was the neck and that. So in this video I managed to get my hands on the Jim Root neck. The Fender one. There you go, there it is. I'll give you a closer look in a sec. But yeah, um, I managed to get my hands on it. So um, we'll do a quick look at my guitar. And this is just a quick video of me changing it and that. And I hope you enjoy because basically it's a Fender Jim Root now, Telecaster instead of a Squire one. But yeah, this is just a little video. I'll just show you and see how we go. Yeah. P.S. I've lost my tripod for some reason. The baby seemed to have ran off of it so this is why it's like this like a selfie kind so here we go i'll have a show you the guitar show you the neck and then we'll go from there okay here she is if you've seen in the video i upgraded it with the emgs the 81 and the 60 and the wiring there she is and then i'll show you the back of her and here's the back of her still got the little chip there and plain neck true and this uh, head stuck on that so here you go and I'll have to show you the neck what it's like there's a close up of the neck I got it off eBay at a bargain some guy got it off his old uh, Jim Root guitar um, it is it's the serial thing that's from Fender the match date if you can see the 2011 and here so my guitar is basically complete now I also bought a new uh, neck plate and um, because I didn't really want the square one on it anymore and then on the Jim Root one's plain but all I need now is to get is the Fender lock and tuners the black ones and they'll just slot in perfectly but yeah um, in this video I'll show you what it's like when I put it all together and how cool it's gonna look. So yeah. So basically the story is why I'm changing it. Um I'm not really bothered about it saying Squire, but then I am at the same time. It's like you, if you have really expensive fenders, you don't really want to be doing a squire. Like I know it sounds a bit like snobbish, but it's thingy. But um I upgraded most of the guitar anyway and I just needed that little extra bit, so I thought, why not? And when I seen it, I thought, let's do it. So, yeah. So this is just, it's just going to be perfect now. I got some parcel today. And Ruby's eating a crisp bite. But, yeah. <laughs> Should we see what it is? Knife. So I'm trying to do this with one hand. I'll put up the box because it's really hard to write to it from that. I'll put it like this. Oh. Yep. Can you guess what it is? It's an orange one. Isn't it, Rube? Should we, t should we turn it around and see what it is? 
And it is the orange gym root cap. Here she is. And Ruby decides to put a crisp on it and a drink. But I'm really happy with this gym root cap. Can't wait to try it. Let's see what it's like. So guys, look what finally come. The Fender Lock and Tuners. Which are going to go on the Fender Gym Root neck. So basically because they're the lock and tuners that were on originally, they should be able just to slot in these holes like what I'm going to do now. And then basically we can start putting all the guitar all together with the new neck and everything. So it's going to look really good. So I'm going to do a little time lapse video of me just putting them on because I don't want to, you know, take ages trying to do it. So I'll show you in a sec when I do the time lapse. But let's, um, open up in the meantime. So that's done there. So it's the moment of truth, let's see if one fits. Yep. Perfect snug fit. And then I just need to use these, if I can get it off. Should just screw down. Like so. I'll tighten them in a sec, so let's get to it and do a little time lapse of it. There she is, with the Fender Lock and Tuners, which is boss. With the Lock and Tuners, basically thread the string through, twist, lock, and then hopefully to stay more in tune um, on lighter strings and that. But yeah, I'm gonna be really happy because it's gonna look so good on the gym root guitar, so. Stay tuned and I'll show you what it's like when it's done. So um, here's the guitar now, I'm just doing a little voiceover because I'm changing the neck on it. I didn't speak because I was in Ruby's room when I was doing it but yeah that was the bolt thing to go on the back so here's a little time lapse quickly just going to take the neck off, put the new deck on and then see where we go from there. So there it is with the neck off. Looks really pretty. As it does, as a body. But yeah, there it is. And then we're just putting the new neck on now. And um, once it goes in, it's really snug tight. So it which is really nice. It just fit in perfectly. So that's what's great about these guitars. When you just mod them, they just any parts just fit nicely. But yeah, so snug in and then it's just gonna be me more bolting it all together and yeah okay there it is quite a tight fit So guys, I um, sent it off to my guitar tech after I put the neck on and I've just got it back. So um, we'll have a look at it. I will do a sound test because with the 
um, the orange 2B12 Jim Root cab, which is in black and it's gorgeous, as you've seen before I got it. It's so nice. I wish I had the Jim Root head, though, to, you know, proper but soon. But, yeah, if you watch this video anyway and I still haven't had the Jim Root head, just give us a message if you're selling one at a good price. And uh, I might buy it off you. But, yeah, let's uh, have a look at the guitar and then we'll do a sound test. And then, yeah, it, yeah. Let's do it. Okay, there she is. Just look at that fender neck. With the locking tuners. And then you um neck plate. Just so good. So happy with it. Okay, it's plugged in. It's plugged into the Micro Terra. Um, I really just realised like about doing a sound test because it's basically just the neck, but I'll just play like a few things with the neck and show you how nice it feels and everything. It you can tell the difference with the neck. Like with the Squire version, I did like the neck, but before I changed it, I had a quick go. And it did feel really nice, but down with this, with the proper fender neck, I don't know, it's just, I don't know if it's because it's been set up really well as well, with the lock and tuners as well, or stuff like that, but it's just the bend. See, that's what I, but it just feels so comfortable. But yeah, let's, um, let's try it. I'll show you what I mean, like... basically the good thing about these squire guitars is like the a mod platform like you buy say if you want a defender and you couldn't really afford it so you got the squire and it's it's so easy to upgrade these guitars like fender just makes them so easy so you can upgrade so you've seen with this like i upgraded the humbuckers the wiring so easy the neck it just slotted in perfect it's, it's just mad, so basically it went from Squire to a Fender. Feels great, looks great, and yeah, I'm just, I'm really happy that I didn't have to pay the full price and I managed to be able to get the neck, but I'm really happy with the way it's turned out. See, it's just, just like the... this video please give it a thumbs up and if you have a squire and you want to upgrade it then do it it's well worth it but yeah i'm carl this is hender reviews and if you like please give it a little like down below and subscribe for more videos and i'll do the best i can but yeah with my gym root stuff now all i need is the head and i'm happy with my collection so yeah um tune in next time next video but yeah, I'm Carl. Thanks for watching.